Yo and hello, wonderful people. It's one of those crazy days where it's raining outside, so I'm in here. I just had my hood on, so uh, I want to talk about something. I say a lot of stuff about joining me, joining me, and I don't mean it in a way that sounds like the, you know, let me get a little deeper into that so it doesn't make me seem like some kind of lunatic goofball. Yeah, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> well, when you see stuff on TV where people are like, the revolution, we're going to stand up to the man, we're going to go out there, we're going to we're gonna stand up for what's right, and we're going to go out there and we're going to fight back for those who've held us down all this time, and, and you see people with like machine guns, or they're getting ready to go out there and fight a war, or whatever. Fine and dandy. Do that. That's not the answer. And why that's not the answer is because you're fighting war with war, first of all. Second of all, the part of the man that you're trying to fight also is part of the, the, what makes you up. What you've complied with your whole life is part of that. So actually, when I want people to say, join me, that means there is no Dan Alexander. You know, when I say me, that's part of Mother Earth. Join me. Like, be natural. Be real. And by being real, that means being honest. And being honest means going deep. Are you going to live your life based off paper? No matter how much of it you have so far, how blingy you are, how much it has made girls like you, or has made people fear you, or has made you feel powerful, you cannot hold paper over somebody and wave it anymore. Unless they let you. And if they're mindless druids who follow along with it, that is just about everybody. Believe me, I was a mindless druid. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to put it down. And I have money that I'm going to use to try to bring money down. The reason they're getting into cryptocurrency and all these things that make you get rich is so that people don't back it down. They don't want to lose money. They want to keep it because it keeps their control. You know, and the people that have a lot of money that say money's not evil, it's not. But thinking that that can give value to one's ideas or one's livingness, period, is asinine. From everyone that's a get rich or get rich guru, a, a billionaire that wants to help, there's still a mental fragment that has been distorted from their past, and they're not seeing that. Money isn't evil, but evil is how you evolve. And as you evolve, you see that you didn't need the evil anymore. And the evil was the money being used for wrong. The evolve is seeing that money doesn't need to be used if you're just doing the right thing, period. So therefore, you don't need the money. But now we have to adjust from that system. Cryptocurrency means what? Crypto, just about dead currency. Just about. It may mean something else, but it means a little bit more like dead currency. Crypto. Crypt. Anyway, people don't just see the truth behind everything. They're trying to say, hey, they're not following what we wanted them to follow, so hey, we'll jump into their scheme, we'll use their words, and we'll promote it. And you know what? As long as they believe that, hey, I've got money and value over this guy with my internet uh, drops shipping from Amazon and from all those people, nothing wrong with the people that work for those businesses, nothing wrong with any of the individuals, but once you wake up, you can't go back to saying, I'm going to do it anyway because in some shape or form it leads to, leads to the harm of people, which is like law enforcement and military, animals, which is any food service that serves meat, sorry, but it's true, and environment, anything that over consumes or over demolishes the environment to, to supply somebody or something or some venture or some capital corporation that is trying to make too much money off of stuff that people don't need. But they're saying, take more, take more, take more. Because if you buy it, we'll make more money. And we're living off that money, which gives us power. So keep believing in the money. See the step back. And then you go back a little bit farther. And the idea of value is encapsulated in those two things. Their stuff and their money. When you try to realize that the stuff and the money doesn't matter. You're the living person in here that one day was born and one day will die. That will always be the truth. Don't get lost in whatever costume you put on. Don't go to work and be like, I work at Cofair, or I work at Dollar General, or I work at the world's headquarters of supreme awesome fuckheads. I don't care who you are. I love you for who you are as a being, not for who you are being. So... That's what I want to say. When I say join me, I mean join Mother Earth. If you want to call Dan Alexander, the guy I represent, sure. But 
if you don't believe in God, you're gonna have a hard time wanting to believe in or following me. If you don't want to call it God, if you don't believe in some higher power that's in you operating your body, if you don't believe that, what the hell? Even if you're a scientist, it's like, I have studied science. But until you even heard the word science, what operated your body up to that point? Science. That's a word and a sound and some letters, dickbag. I'm trying to be serious and I'm trying to like make it comical so people don't be like, oh, he's annoying. But at the same time, I'm just being me. I'm just being what Mother Earth is. There is some gruesome stuff out there. Have you ever seen how gruesome a mud puddle can look when it's full of stuff and it's got slime and algae in it? You know, I just love it. I love it. I think it's awesome. But I used to be like, oh, that's mucky. And now the word mucky means great. Everything is great. You know, and I, I'm not one of those people who like, you know, needed to go do ayahuasca. I am ayahuasca. I felt more than what people will do in a shamanic ritual. I am all those energies. And so are you. And I can't wait until people start really listening and feeling it so they can feel it. Not so they can say, that guy, Dan, was right. So they can feel it. So they can understand it. That's more important than anything you're doing right now. Saving your soul. It's more important to me than you making some dollars. Because that's not what you need to do to f support your family. What you need to do to support your family is be brave enough to say, fuck you, I'm not working the rest of my life for money. And I'm going to live with my family. I'm going to have my kids come out of school, which is an education set there for maybe some parents who don't want to have to spend their time with their kids and they want to send them off for a babysitter so they can go off and do whatever. Sorry, parents, grow up. This is what you need to hear. Not something like that. But instead, instead, remove them from school and teach them the truth yourself. If you don't know yourself, learn it yourself while they're learning it. That would be a great experience, wouldn't it? There's teachers like me out there, and there's a lot of them that are distorted. And I don't know if any of them are brave enough to say they've met God. Maybe they do. Maybe they say it. But they'll talk about God as it's on the outside thing. I don't even know Dan anymore. If someone comes and kills me, I would say you're killing God. I would say you're God killing God. That's true. But I'm a realized being who's no longer his ego or her ego. I'm a man woman. I'm a he, she. I'm a they, they. I don't care what anyone would call me from now on. I'm never going to have sex. I'm never going to use money for an advantage of some kind of marketing ploy. I'll use it for some kind of environmental cleanup or in order to keep this truck so I can clean up the environment until someone takes it. Because to me, I will never base myself off of somebody else's judging me off of how pure I am. I am so pure. Come and, come and see me in person and talk to me. I won't always be animated like this. I wanted to sit down and meditate with people. In fact, I have tons of meditations that I haven't put out yet because nobody has looked at my old videos. If people are interested, at least give me a thumb, at least share it, at least do something. Because if people aren't interested, my personality will say, well, that's not working. I got to do something else because I'll never stop doing what I'm doing. But as individuals, we need some kind of encouragement, not need. I mean, it's nice to have it. I don't need it. I'm going to keep doing it anyway, like I said, but you can help clean the world up just by sharing this, just by listening with your heart, just by being willing to really grow up. What growing up means to develop fully. When, when a tree grows up, it develops fully. When you develop fully and you really grow up, you stop coloring your face and coloring your body and doing all this silly stuff. Not because I'm mad about it, but because you'll know that you don't need to. I have tattoos that I'm not, I want to get rid of, but I don't care. They don't mean anything now. It was when Dan was there, thinking his ego was something. That's just a piece of flesh that the land gave me, that Mother Earth is, me, that me. So I'm not going to go any further into it. If you guys hear what I'm saying, share this with people. Whether this one really gets into any detail or not, it'll help people be like, you know, I don't need to work for a living. I don't need to work for a living. But you also shouldn't sit around and be lazy. Apply yourself to truth, to the world, to people, to love, to learning and being affectionate. That. Think about it. Why would you not? If you don't, because you're too busy watching some other shows on Netflix that are about zombies and doo -doo -doo, that's because you are part zombie by eating dead things. And even though you're probably one of the people that does, because most people still eat meat, it's okay. I was there. And yeah, I, I'm not saying it's bad anyway. So, I mean, it is bad for your body and it is bad for the animals. But, you know, like on a whole big scheme of things, if you look at yourself as an animal, it's not bad if a tiger eats another animal because a tiger or a lion is living off of instinct and predatory nature. And that's not you. 
unless you want to be that. I'm the beast. <laughs> so many people act like that. Like, that's going to mean something? Fuck you. Come kill me if you want to. Acting like the beast, the big badass. That's nothing. Nothing. You will be nothing. You are nothing. Unless you stand for something. Till next time. Peace.